Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, two things I'm definitely going to do today is I'm going to shave my head and shave my face. Uh, I was told by the doctor I can't take a shower until after uh, I go and see her on Wednesday. So, um, they don't want me to get the dressing wet. So, I'm going to listen to that advice. Um, she said I can take a sponge bath though. So, any volunteers? I'm like it. Um, I slept off and on all day yesterday, off and on all night. Um, I sleep for a couple hours. I'd wake up for like a half an hour and then right back to sleep again. Uh, it's really, really kicked my butt. I mean, really bad. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update of what we did with uh, with the solar. Now, like I told you before, right now we only have uh, two of the panels hooked up, so we only got 500 watts working, and uh, I have the four batteries. So, what? Um, Yesterday, we actually ran the camper strictly on solar for 11 and a half hours. Now, one thing I did notice that as soon as oh, excuse me, the sun went down, it started draining the batteries. So, um, you know, as there's that steady stream of power coming in, there was you know no issues with uh, running everything all day. So, um, what we ended up doing is I'm not running using the solar ba uh, batteries at night right now because I just have the four batteries at the moment. I definitely, one of the things I've already figured out, and I already knew it anyway, but uh, you know, doing the test, it kind of gives you a more wherewithal of what's going on. Um, I definitely need more batteries because all day I'm staying at 100% peak charge. It's not draining them out um, because I'm bringing in enough power to run everything. But like I said, as soon as that sun goes down, then it starts draining on the batteries. And with only four batteries, I'm not having a tremendous amount of uh, you know, um, backup as far as because of the fact that I only have the four batteries. But uh, it's all about tweaking everything at this point. You know what I mean? It's testing it out and, and seeing what works. But to, uh, like right now, you hear that? It's peacefully quiet. Um, it's awesome. The solar is running everything in a camper right now. And it's beautifully quiet. And I mean, that is just so awesome. I can't even begin to tell you how cool that was yesterday. Um, we were running, you know, the generator maybe, I don't know, maybe six or seven hours a day, if that, you know. So it's like now, if I can run the solar all day long during the day, run, basically run it for about 12 hours, um, you know, then, uh, you know, then like what we did was we put the generator on last night for a couple of hours. So we disconnected from the solar and plugged into the generator and ran the generator for a few hours. Now basically that was all for my daughter because I, like I said, I was basically sleeping on and off all day long yesterday. Uh, I feel better today. I'm still really, really tired. I'm pretty wiped out to be honest with you. Um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of anything to be truthful with you for quite a while. And uh, I'm just going to sit down here while I talk to you guys. But... Uh, yeah, my, uh, my back is definitely hurting. Um, I have been using the pain medication. I'm not a real big fan of pain medication. But uh, after having a major surgery, you do what you got to do. Um, actually, I can show you the dressing. Let me show you. Oh. Lift this up. I'll give you guys an idea. I don't know if you can see that. But... Uh, it's a uh, pretty good area that they're uh, they got me covered over there. Um, yeah, it just uh, like I said, it was long. I'm glad to be home. There's no place like healing like home, and you know it's very peaceful out here anyway. Um, I don't know if you kick that over so you can see, but both of the lights are green, so the solar's coming in and the batteries are fully charged. So yes, I four batteries are definitely not going to be enough, and I know that. Um, it's just a matter of uh, I gotta go and get more batteries. Now, obviously, I won't be lifting any batteries for at least a month. <laughs> so when I do get them, I'm gonna have to have somebody else bring them in for me. And I mean, I can wire them up. That's not a big deal. But uh, you know, like I said, at this point now, um, over the next month, my my game plan realistically. Um, I've done everything that I said I wanted to do up to this point. I got, uh, you know, I got my water up and running. Um, I have my solar up and running now. I have internet for the kids. 
Um, you know, and, and I'm going to tell you what, it was like, you know, with having a solar running yesterday, I, I can't even begin to tell you what a feeling that is. I mean, I had solar before at my other place, but I had a little 90 watt system with Harbor Freight panels at my other place. These freaking panels, I mean, they're top of the line. They're monoclysterine solar panels. So, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. They're the most efficient solar panels that you can get. So, um, I do plan on, um, in the front here, come up here and I'll show you guys. I'm going to get some uh, more rebar and I'm going to drive them in front here. Um, probably in between like here and here, you know, then like on here so that they they don't get a chance to, they won't flip up or I might run a board all across the bottom and then use uh, one piece of rebar on the end of each. I may do it that way. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't want these getting blown around in a windstorm. Um, the back side is good because I'll show you back here. I got the rebar driven into um, through the boards. So the back side is good. And they're not going anywhere from there. So we got, those are all set up that way. But uh, yeah, just like I said, I just got to get this one more extension so that I can connect these. So then I'll have the 750 watts going. And, that, and that's the other thing. It's like I was sitting there going, oh my God, if I'm fully charged all day long on 500 watts and we're running everything all day long, I definitely got to get more panels. Not panels, I mean uh, more batteries because I'm obviously drawing in too much power for what my needs are. And especially once I hook up that other solar panel, that's another 250 watts. So I'll be at 750 watts, and, uh, you know, I definitely got to up my battery bank. Um, so that's definitely definitely part of my game plan here over the next couple weeks. And uh, like I said, it's just, uh, it, it's coming along. Um, I am realistically, I mean, honestly, guys, I'm not doing a whole lot for a while here. I don't even plan on driving until Wednesday when I have to go to see my doctor. I'm going to just stay put. Um, Eddie's going to be with his mom for about a week. And uh, I'm just going to be just doing low-key healing, uh, sleeping as much as I need to, not doing a whole lot. But, again, I just want to thank you all for your support. Um, thanks for all the comments. Um, everything helps. I mean, I'm listening. You know what I mean? It's like, again, like I've said before, this is a whole community. We have to work together. And that's the only way that we're ever going to get anything done, all of us is, you know, helping each other out and, uh, you know, getting things squared away. But, uh, you know, it, it's all about, it's all, all about working together. And that, and that is the key. I've said it before. I mean, you know, um, if I can help anybody out, I'll, I'll help anybody out. I'm not an expert at anything for say, um, I'm learning this as I go, you know, but the thing is, it's like, as I'm doing it, as I'm doing this, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's, it's cool for me. I love it. I absolutely love it because it's like here I am sitting here at my place now and I have my own power going and it's quiet, it's efficient, it's doing what it needs to do and there's nothing like that. There really isn't. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. And I keep thinking about once higher up the hill I get a couple of wind turbines rolling up there, you know, um, especially for like the winter time, you know, how much more power I'm going to generate. So... It's uh, it's exciting. I mean, it's really exciting. I don't think, honestly, that power is going to be an issue for me. I really don't. Um, you know, oh, excuse me. Um, as far as for turning on the well and whatnot, I can always use the generator. Um, you know, because it's not like I'm going to be running it continuously. So that really is not a big deal. Um, you know, and obviously I would have to have that, you know, probably inside as well um, once the snow flies. But, you know, like I said, if I'm running the generator for five minutes to fill up the water tanks, big deal. Um, anyway, so that's it for now, guys. Listen, um, I, again, I appreciate all the support, the well wishes. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I'm glad to have this behind me. Now I just want to heal and get better and move on with my life and, uh, and focus on uh, getting things squared away up here. Um, like I said, here we are now. It's, uh, you know, near the end of July. And, uh, you know... Winter is coming, and I realize that. So I got a lot to do yet, but I know that I really got to listen to the doctors and basically for the next month at least take it easy. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Believe me, I am not going to overdo it. So, all right, well, thank you all again. I appreciate it. Um, oh, I just wanted um, another quick thing. I'll do that in another video. Never mind. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Prepping